What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys a Polyrath Rain Team for Regulation Age. Now, when it comes to Polyrath, this Pokemon is more of an off-meta pick than anything. But nonetheless, I still really like using it, and I feel like it is still a very good Pokemon, especially in the new format coming up. This Polyrath is a fighting and water type Pokemon with Swift Swim as its ability, and it is holding the Life Orb as its item. For its moveset, it's rocking Drain Punch, Bulk Up for Stat Boost, Protect, and Liquidation. Really do like this moveset because we got HP Recovery, Stat Boost, and Liquidation, which does an insane amount of damage, especially in the rain. Another Swift Swim Pokemon that we have on our team is going to be Basque Legion with the Choice Scarf as its item, so it's still going to be fast outside of rain. It's got Wave Crash, Head Smash, Aqua Jet, and Lash Respect. Cannot go wrong with this Pokemon on a rain team. Our final four Pokemon on today's squad going to be Murkrow, Palafin, Pelipper, and Arch Ludon. Murkrow's there to do like Tailwind stuff. Palafin's there for, you know, big time physical attacking. Pelper's there to get that weather control and set the rain. And Arch Ludon is just a Pokemon that really thrives out in the rain. Super bulky, can use Electro Shot to boost special attack, and just do big time damage from there. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Well, without further ado, let's hop into our first match, showcasing this Polyrath Rain Team. Moving on to our first match here, and something I noticed right away is no weather control, which means we can lead our Pelipper, we, we can lead more rain Pokemon, and really just start getting after it. So I'm going to go Pelipper, I am going to go Polyrath here, I do like Arch Ludon, and I do like Palafin, but I usually like to, actually, you know what, what am I doing, what am I doing, what am I doing? We're going to lead Polyrath and Palafin, and hard swap Palafin into Pelipper make life a lot easier for us. They do have Haunter, which I've seen Haunter a couple times on the ladder, just holding the Evo Light, and it's honestly pretty good. It's honestly pretty good, but I do like Arch Ludon as our last Pokemon, having the Assault Vest being super bulky, and just being able to free fire Electro Shots is just really good, so I like it. I like it. Another thing that we do have to watch out for is Water Compaction Polisand, which, I mean, it still takes the damage from Water Moves, but it is going to get a defensive boost, so really depends how we want to look at that. If I want to go into like a big time wave crash, if I know I can KO it, I might send it. Let's see who they end up leading here. It's going to be the Polisane, and it is going to be probably Grass Terra Chandelure. Probably Grass Terra Chandelure. Okay, so from here, um, we're totally hard swapping into the rain. And you know what? I think we just go for the one shot here. No, we'll wait a second. We will wait a second. Because I will actually just send a liquidation in this slot. And I'll hard swap. Actually, Palfin might be faster. How fast are you, Palfin? Pretty fast. We might just want to flip turn here. I think I'd rather flip turn. I'm going to flip turn out of here. Yep, cool. So we get off some damage. We're able to swap into Pelipper. We can take out Chandelure no problem, which is pretty big for us. So Chandelure ended up not terrestrializing, which I'm super surprised at. And Pelipper now out here setting the rain, granting Polyrath Swift Swim, making him fastest on the field, taking out Chandelure with liquidation. Bye bye, Chandelure. Even though I love Chandelure, I think Chandelure has one of the coolest designs in all of Pokemon. It's just so dope. More so, it's colors, right? Its colors really makes it stand out. So they pick up KO, we lose a little bit of HP to the Life Orb, and this thing's rocking Giga Drain. It does a beautiful chunk of damage to us. So as much as I want to Thrasilize into Fire, I think we just, you know, save it and we drop a Liquidation into this Polisand. Even though it has Water Compaction. I still feel as we can pick up KO, so... That is what I'm going to do. Right into the Polisand. And... It's time to set up Tailwind. Yeah, we'll set up Tailwind here. As much as I'd rather maybe go for like a... Hurricane. Liquidation still pick up the KO, so yeah, didn't have to worry about this compaction, water compaction. And I'm trying to get off the tailwind just so we can outspeed Dragapult later, and this works out perfectly. So he's gonna Phantom Force, probably taking out my Polyrath. I could hard swap Polyrath, but I feel like sacrificing it and just letting it die out is probably better for us, right? Even though I love me some Polyrath. Like, look at that dude's back. This dude's huge. Hits lat pull downs on the daily. Does not skip back day. Look at his back, dude. It's massive. It's so wide. Um, again, chances are, I mean, we can get off a shot here, so I might as well just try to send a liquidation and double down with Hydro Pump into Dust Noir. He's gonna Shadow Sneak. Can we soak this? Whew. Thank the Lord. We're soaking Shadow Sneak. Gonna be able to drop a liquidation and almost one tap it. 
We're going to double down here. Probably should double down with Hurricane. Made life a bit easier, but I didn't expect that liquidation to do that much damage. So that's Noir gone. Get it out my face. And now they're going to go into Phantom Force and keep my Polyrath alive. So we're going to win this game, no problem. Most likely get a sweep. We're going to drop another liquidation. And Hurricane should finish it off. Like, Dragapult's not super bulky. And they might end up canceling the battle. They don't. How much damage are you doing, liquidation? Half. I think Hurricane should be able to pick up the sweep for us. Go ahead, Hurricane. Oh, no. We died to the life orb. No! No sweep for the boys. Was Hurricane picking up the KO? It was. The dreaded life orb death. Death taking away the sweep for us. But, hey. I'll, I'll take that 1-0 record. Starting off with a win today. Moving on to our second match. And we are now going up against... Restricted Pokemon. Eternatus, Mewtwo, alongside with Fluttermane, Cerule Edge. I do like Cerule Edge. And then they got uh, Arcanine and Ogre Pond. So Arcanine could sit here and be kind of a pester with Intimidate. We could honestly just go into like Pella Propel and just get that rocking. That's not too bad for us. And I think I do like that. I definitely do like that. Because having Palafin in its hero form in, in the late game is just super strong for us. But again, we're going to go Pelper here. We're going to set the rain. Um, we're going to go into Palafin. We could honestly just go into Archal Ludon. Yeah, no, no, no. That's way better for us. Archal Ludon, Palafin. Because just swapping into the weather is just 10 times better for us. And I can maybe set up an electric shot. So it boosts my special attack. Something really good like that. So I don't mind going into Archal Ludon, Palafin. Bring Pelper into back in. And then we got to choose between a Swift Swim user. We got Polyrath. But Bashku Legion could be good here with the Ghost Moves. Could be good. And it does have head smash as well. I actually like I actually like Basky Legion here a bit. They don't have any way of changing weather, which is really good for us. But I do have to find a way around this uh this Wellspring Ogre Pond if they do bring it, which is one of the reasons why I brought Archer Ludon. Archer Ludon's nice little bulky Pokemon. Has Electro Shot, can do some nice damage. We like it. We like it a lot. But they're gonna send out Arcanine and Fluttermane. Which is another reason why I want to go into, like, Arch Loot on here. Because Intimidate isn't really going to affect us. Now, the problem here is Palafin doesn't outspeed, which we don't like. We do not like. This thing is going to boost our energy up and get a special attack boost. Ah, oh, man, we didn't want that. We did not want that. We do have Flash Cannon, which is good. I could go Electric Terror, but really no point. We should keep our Steel Terror here. I'm just going to rip a Flash Cannon. A jet punch here, but you know what? Let's just swap right into this rain. Right into the damp rock rain. Eight turns of rain. Let's run it. We love eight turns of rain. Especially when they can't control weather. So we'll go on the Pelper here. Fluttermane is just so scary, man. And hopefully Fluttermane just, just doesn't terrestrialize, just stays there. Cool. It's gonna stay there. It's gonna do a nice chunk of damage. We are gonna get a stamina boost, which we love. He's gonna go for a flare blitz, which we soak thanks to the rain. Thank you, Mr. Rain. I'm plus two on defense. Can I KO this... This, uh... Fluttermane here? That would be amazing. Flash cannon flying through here. Are you sashed? No, you're not sashed. You just lived on one. You just lived on one. So, that's a gleam could KO us. I wish I had protect. I really do wish I had protect. I'm play here. I think we just sacrifice Pelper and we hope to survive the shot. And then I look to just dump on Arcanine. Yeah. I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm with it. He's gonna go for an E speed here, which I soak. So E speed comes out here. And there's Dazzle Beam. Arch on soak it. Let's go. Okay, that, that's what I need it. That's what I need it. Arch on soak this. I could bring out a Pokemon with first turn priority. And I can probably KO this Arch Ludon because I'm plus, uh... Actually, no. I can't KO this Arch or this Arcanine. He still do some nice damage onto it, which I love. He does have E-Speed ready to roll. But I have to get rid of this, uh, this Fluttermane. Fluttermane's just too big of a threat. But still, nice damage there. But again, he has E-Speed. Is there a shot? There is a shot that we can eat up an E-Speed. With Arch Ludon. We're going to Basque Legion now. I think we save our Choice Scarf. With our Basque Legion, even though it's outspeeding. Free Scarf kinda 
kind of an iffy item on a on a swift swim Pokemon. So I'm gonna go into Palafin. He's probably gonna e-speed that. Um, I am gonna go into Electro Shot just to boost my special attack even more. And we're gonna go for Jet Punch just so we outspeed and get rid of this Fluttermane. We need Fluttermane gone, but that's that was a big turn for us. Just sacrificing the Pelipper and hoping that Arch Luna can eat up. There goes e-speed. We do eat up e-speed. So Palafin is losing no HP. I'm bulking my defense even more. And Jet Punch flying. Bye bye Fluttermane. So thank the Lord to get that Pokemon on out of my face. We got rid of you. We're gonna get rid of uh We're gonna get rid of Arcanine here. Palafin's looking to just drop wave crashes here. I might even terrestrialize him and go for water move. Or water terror. Just so wave crash can do an insane amount of damage. So we'll say bye bye to Arcanine. Fluttermane was a huge threat. We still have to worry about probably Eternatus and Mewtwo. They could easily be both their back-end Pokemon, but they have to be bringing at least one of those restricted Pokemon. So we still have Bastion Legion, which is great. Rain's going to last a while. There's Mewtwo coming out on the field. Hello there, Mewtwo. And who's the last Pokemon? going to be Ogre Pond. This is a Pokemon I was scared of. All me could easily fly here. Follow me can easily fly here. What's your tire type? Ghost, we're gonna save our tire for you. Do you think he goes follow me? There's a chance, you know what? I'm gonna say screw it. I'm gonna say you don't. And I'm gonna wave crash in this B2. I'm gonna say no follow me flies here. It's a no follow me fly zone here. He's gonna terrestrialize a me too. Into what typing? Into electric. Oh, no. <laughs> Chill on me. Can I still hit a wave crash? That's all I really need to do here. I do outspeed. Wave crash flying through. No follow me, which is big news. Mewtwo's gone. Get it on out of here. Get it on out of here. They're probably sitting there like, dang, I should have went for the follow me. And now Ogre Pond's going to horn leech me probably. Take out my Palafin, but it's still I get off a big time electro shot. No, they choose to get rid of my Arch Ludon. It's actually kind of smart, let's be honest here. Get rid of Arch Ludons. Definitely play. The low sweeps get rid of, of him. Um, we got speed. I have to go into some close combats now. And do I go into last respect? Yeah. Two Pokemon are dead. I'd rather get that stab boost rather than a head smash. So I go close combat, last respect. Look to finish this game off. Let's see how much damage we're doing here. Oh my lord, that's plenty! That's plenty! Close combat coming in here, punching up on Ogre Pond, finishing off this match, and we're sitting 2-0. Third and final match is here, and we're going up against a semi trickermish team, right? They got Hisui and Zoroak. They got Smeargle, Hisui, and Decidueye. On top of that, they got Blood Moon, Ursaluna, Mousehold, and Annihilator. So, really cool team. Another thing I do notice is no weather control, so we're down to kind of just keep doing what we're doing, right? Palafin in here with a rain Pokemon. Probably Politoed. I do like Politoed here. And I'm just going to go into Pelipper. And last but not least, probably Archaludon here. You know, Archaludon is actually really good considering they have a lot of normal typings. But but they also have a lot of fighting types, which means Basculation is actually getting the spot. Nice little ghost type. They got fighting, normal, all over the place. We got to go into Basculation. We have got to go into Basculation. A little bit of Basculation action. We got two Swift Swim Pokemon looking for that 3-0 perfect record. We'd love to just start bulking up Pyrath. But I don't know if we can do that. It really depends on who they go into. Because once they see Palafin, they're not going to fake it out. Let's be honest here. And I think that they're going to lead Smeargle here. So I could maybe just like protect. Or I could just go into like a... Uh, a hard swap into Pelipper. Then like Liquidation to Smeargle. But then they're probably just faking out the Pyrath. Which is like a big deal. Alright, let's see uh, who they lead. And it's not going to be the Smeargle, so it's more of a beat-up combo here. More of a beat-up combo. So honestly, I like going into flip turn here. Because I know my Palafin should be fast on the field, right? You're like 160-something. 167, yeah, you should be fast on the field. Then we can hard swap into Pelipper. And maybe drop a Liquidation here. I'm all for it. I'm all for it. Liquidation right in this slot. I could have Drain Punched the Mouse Hole, but... Honestly, it looks like Annihilate's Pokemon that wants to set up, so we really just want to, you know, get after him. Really just want to get after him, and hopefully this Liquidation can KO. I'm really not sure if it can. 
And Eilip is just so bulky. Has so much HP. So out comes Pelper. Rained is among us. Let the drizzle begin. Liquidation flying for the KO. It's so bulky, man. You going for beat up combo here too? You are. So this thing's just KO and whoever he touches. Let's be honest here. Not even gonna sugarcoat it. We're gonna say bye bye to Pyrath here. Pyrath, you gone? Or hopefully attack my Pelipper. Might be attacking my Pelipper. Oh, let's go. Let's go. That's fine by me. We keep our Polygrath? Say less. Say less. Say less. So there's one thing I want to do here. There's one thing that I like. And it is going to be... Actually, we probably just want to go into like... No, we want to go into... Who do we want to go into? Because we want... Drain Punch. Now we're going to go into Palafineer. Because we want Drain Punch to hit this... This mouse hole. We're going to go for a Drain Punch. So we need Polyrath to be the fast on the field in case they go for Follow Me. So I can Drain Punch KO and then slide this other attack. So from here, I am just going to go for a Flip Turn for the KO. And then I am just going to go for a Drain Punch here to finish off this thing. Alright, cool. I'm with this. It's a protect near. Is it double protect? Double protect. So he's reading out what we're doing here. That's fine by me. He might even go into a uh, a ghost terror on mouse hold. Honestly, I might read that and just go for liquidation. I actually like that a bit more. I think I am gonna read that and go for liquidation. So he gets back some HP. Flip turn can probably still KO, but I am going to switch it into Wave Crash here. And I'm going to switch to Liquidation rather than Drain Punch, just in case of Swap or the Ghost Terror here. Because they already got a read on our turn. They saw that uh, we're looking to go for Drain Punch. And we're looking to go for Flip Turn. And yep, there's the Terror. Ghost Terror on the Mouse Hold? Show it to me. Show it to me. Come on, man. Come on, man. That's too easy to read. That's too easy to read. So good read on our end. We are going to get off some Liquidation damage. And Mousehold, what are you doing here? Going for the follow me. He's going for the follow me. So we're going to get rid of Mousehold here instead of Annihilate, which is a smart play for him. Unless Liquidation can just straight up KO. And it does. Let's go. Let's go, Polyrath. Such a big time KO. Big time read for us to read that uh, Ghost Terror there. Switch Liquidation instead of Drain Punch. And now Wave Crash is going to finish off this Annihilate. Bye bye, Annihilate. Hot start for us. Hot start for us. And the biggest play was honestly that Annihilate going after our Pelipper. Really leaving our poly Polyrath on the field and getting after it. I'm cool. I'm chilling with that. I'm chilling with that. Alright. So Mousehold gone. Their Terror's gone. Smeargle's here. Um, Ursaluna on the field as well. They don't have Terra. Might as well double down to Ursaluna. We might as well double down to Ursaluna. No, we honestly probably shouldn't. He's faking out somebody. Who are you faking out? I'm gonna attack Smeargle. We probably should have doubled down to Ursaluna, and they just canceled the match, so there it is regardless. 3-0 perfect record for you guys. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, a 3-0 perfect record. Rocking out with this Polyrath rain team. Our opponents actually kind of made it easy for us to go 3-0, considering we didn't have to face one team with weather control. So we were able to just set the rain, let our rain Pokemon go to work. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread this positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.